Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy E or you, aka the Harlem Legend, man. If you're new to the channel, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you set your bell notifications so you know when I'm going live, man. We back with a banger. I'm going to keep it 100. We back with a banger. I was talking to the homie, man. I, I'm going to keep it real. A couple names came up, y'all. I wanted to bring the content to y'all and let y'all fill them out for yourself, man. So I don't know if y'all know the homie that been pulling up on different platforms, 050, and he's actually been speaking his truth. You feel me? He's been speaking his truth. So today I want to pull him up here, introduce him to y'all, man, so y'all can get a better understanding of who he is and let him actually explain, you know what I'm saying? What's popping? What's popping, my G? It was good, man. It was Gucci. Yeah, it was good, man. It's your boy, Kai Reality, man. Kai Watts, however you want to say it. Kai Watts is however you want to call it, man. I'm okay, here, okay, you know. okay, man. Uh, yeah. X, X, X gang member, X street member, X, yeah. X blood, X, you know. Yes, right. ex gang member, ex gang leader, ex gang blood leader, um, reformed. You heard? <laughs> reformed. <laughs> yeah. So we were speaking on the phone. We had a good conversation, and then we got into a few names, right? So before we get started, right, man, I want to make sure that you know whatever you putting out there in the universe, you know, what I mean, you okay with it? Like you fine with it, right? Like you want to get this off your chest? Like you know, this this is just story, right? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, hundred percent. You know, when when I was away, you know, it was a lot of like people telling my story for me. It was a lot of stuff in the streets and on the internet and all that, where people would just have their own um, their own insight on what happened without actually speaking to me or actually knowing what happened. So that's why I'm here to clear a lot of things up, and I'm here to, to you know put the message out there so you know kids in the future or guys in the future can know that it's never too late to change your mindset. So okay, that's what it is. Okay. Well, salute, man. Look, we was having a conversation, right? And uh Jim Jones name came up, right? And I, yeah. before we get started, how how did you even how do you know Jim Jones? How did you meet him? How did you, you know what I'm saying? Like, how did that even come about? Um, well, my neighborhood in um in Brooklyn, um, Franklin Avenue, Lincoln, that's where I'm from. You heard um when I was young, uh eight, nine, ten years old, uh Jimmy will always come through our our block. You know what I mean? He was um connected with a guy named Holly Bang Bang, rest in peace. Holly was killed. Mm. Um, yeah, Holly was killed early 2000s or mid 2000s, something like that. And he was also connected with a guy named um Psych Bike Ike, Ike. Ike was killed. Um, he said it in his song, we still losing soldiers at this war. Like every other week, I'm pouring cold ones at the floor. They just killed Ike, he was going to the store. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, they, yeah, from that he's up. So um it was a um it was a faction of bird gang, a faction of 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 bird gang based in my neighborhood, which was called high gang. High gang mm. was a was was like uh 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 like a branch, like a sub label of of what uh bird gang was and high gang had an artist who um I always looked up as like a big brother, a big cousin, uncle, however you wanted to call him. His name was um T W O. Uh, okay. TWO, he, yeah, yeah, he's like the hook, he's like the hook, the hook master for them guys. Like he, he, um, one of his biggest tracks is like sixty racks in my pocket, sixty racks okay. in my jeans. Yes, yeah, so, well, featuring Lil Wayne, the, um, Cameron. So like, I always was like under them, but I was so young, you know what I mean. So it's like yeah. when I got that money, when I got the money, twenty thirteen. Yeah, you had got a lawsuit. I mean, you were speaking about you had got a lawsuit for how much money exactly did you get? Um, it was around, it was like 900 some thousand, but they took, they took part, they took 33%, something like that, 30%. Okay. So okay. I wanted, yeah, I wanted to get close to 600,000, 500 something thousand, something like that. Um, at a young age, running around with all that money, man. Yeah. Young age, no guidance, you know, no male figures in my life. I grew up with females, male figures that were prominent in my life were the people that I thought were gangsters and street okay. dudes. So. Well, you got yeah, into so a story. You got into a story uh, about being in the studio, and you gave an interesting story. And I wanted to bring it to the people. You was basically speaking about Chrissy, right? You were speaking oh, yeah, about yeah, Chrissy yeah. Lampkin. Uh, I mean, how, how did you even meet her? Like, how how do you even know who she is? Um. Well, you know who she is because of like that's Jim Jones' wife. That's how love people love hip hop. Love hip hop. I'm yeah, from home, anyways. Oh. So I know who she is, anyways, but. 
How did you yeah, like, Brooklyn? Oh, all right. So, um, when I was with when I was hanging around too at this time, TWO, I, I had the money. So like a lot of dudes would have me around. I was flexing. I had bought a Maserati. I had a six fifty at the same time drop top. So it's like I was running through the hood and. One of my best friends, he just came home from prison. Well, he's not my best friend anymore, but his name is Light Fever. He's like, he's the son of um, Scar, Matthew Scar Allen. He's the son of okay. the dude that slapped, that slapped Pete Diddy with the money. You know what I mean? Okay. Everybody, you from New York. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're from, yeah, you're from New York. You know who Scar is. You know who's um, yeah, son, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, His son is the split image of him. So it's like when he came home, he was being celebrated, you know, and he was my best friend. So it's like he, went, he, he, he was rapping. So... Our, our thing was for two and for me, I had the money. So I was going to like, you know, do whatever I needed to do for my best friend to get his foot in the door with this rap shit. Oh, that's and, what um, you was basically doing with your money a lot of times. You was pushing other people, trying to get them right, get them in the door. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I done pay, nigga, I done pay for shows where we got to pay for shows, bottles, everything, like just to make it look good. Like, okay. For, okay. Like, Hell, hell yeah, that's that. But that was only for him, really. You heard? I, okay. I, I did it for uh, somebody else too. We go get to that another time too. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you was around. Yeah, you was, you've been around for quite some time, man. A lot of people don't yeah, know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I've been around. You know, a lot of dudes like that try to discredit the the history because of the actions that I took when I cooperated. But yeah. um, yeah. So I'm with, I'm with, I'm with um, two. I'm with uh, um. Uh, life fever and one day two was like yo we going to capo we going to capo crib we going to capo crib and i'm like all right we out what was the crib at where was the crib at? it was like it was in midtown somewhere it was like i don't know if it was in the 20s 30s 40s but it was in manhattan um it was like this crib slash studio so it was like when you first walk in you know you go up the stairs uh we we was in the elevator so we took the elevator uh that's when i first into encounter um Chrissy um so yeah we go we, he's wait, like wait, you, you, couple couple. you you and you 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 encountered her in the in the elevator yeah yeah on your way up to the studio yeah okay yeah okay the elevator is okay. small so it's, it's like an elevator to probably like it could fit probably about seven to eight people but to be comfortable like probably four people five people you know what i mean okay. it's a small okay. elevator small elevator it's, yeah so we get to the place we get there you know what i mean when we get there um Trav is outside. Trav and a bunch of dudes from Queens. It was a dude named Odilla. He was um a dude I knew from Rikers Island. Trav he was with Trav. With, you talking about Trav that run around with Meek Mills and all of them all the time? That Trav? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, he was okay. fucking okay. with Jimmy. He was on yeah, he, he was, was messing uh, with 50 at one time. Then he started beefing with 50. Yeah, then he started beefing with 50. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So um, before we get in the studio, Trav is out there. Um, I'm introduced to Trav, me and my, my best friend at the time. We were um, introduced to Trav, you know what I mean? You know, we was looking good. We icy front end, you know what I mean? The swag that niggas got today is how we was dressing back then. Back so it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you could go to my old pages. You could go right here and type in Kai Reality. My old pages come up, too. So it's like, it, it was like, you know, you know, people see, oh, these young niggas doing it. So yeah. it's like, we was open. Yeah, like the dudes like trapping them, they open. What arms, age was like, you around this time? What age was you around this time? Was you in your teens? I was, 18, like late I was 18. 18, 19. Yeah, I was okay. 18. I was 18, okay. going on 19. Um, okay. Yeah, so we uh, we we wound up getting in the studio now. That his entourage trap entourage is outside. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, Jimmy ain't there yet. You heard? But okay. but we're there. Yeah, we're there. So um, two was like, "Yo, we up? Let's go upstairs." So um. <clears throat> Like Fever, he's not, he didn't come in the elevator with us. He like stayed back with Trav and them guys. And me and two went in the elevator, TWO. So when we get in the elevator, right? Um, yeah, we get in the elevator. Uh, two females, they rush in the elevator with us. So they rush in the elevator with us and it comes right behind us. But you know, I'm in my phone. I'm uh I'm high off this time. I had off this yeah. when I was on drugs and shit. So I'm not really paying yeah. attention to who who this is behind me. Okay. Um yeah, so me and two, we stand next to we stand next to each other. I'm on the right side, he's on the left side, and we wait, we the elevator closes. So I'm in my phone. I'm in my phone and um I just feel something like touch me, like behind my head, like touch me, and it's like grab my head. And she's like, 
like I just hear a whisper, like, "Ooh, this hair is nice." And then, and then, like, I turn wait, my wait, 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 was Chrissy that said that? Yeah, like she's like, "Ooh, this oh, hair is nice," and like I, I, I didn't have that. Yeah, I had like a curly little taper fro, like shit, like that. So it's like she's like, "Ooh, this hair is nice." So she touching my hair and shit. So I turn around, but I, I'm smiling when I turn around because I know it's a female touching me. So I'm just smiling. Yeah, you feel me? She's like. Oh, and he got dimples. So this is what she's saying to whoever she's with. You know what I mean? So I'm looking. I still don't. I'm not knowing this is Chrissy. You know what I mean? Oh. So my, um, I called him my cousin, big brother, uncle, whatever you want to call him. So TWO, he um, he's tapping me. He's like nudging my leg. Like he's nudging my leg. Like and he's like, doing his, like he, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just standing there, bro. Oh, like but he's nudging me, like. Like, and I'm just looking back. So I don't even know. I'm just thinking these two females playing with me. Like, you heard? And she just touching me, bro. Like, she really caressing me. Like, she touching me. Like, I'm like, oh, like, I got a, I got a, I had a kip jacket on. I had a, like, a green, colorful kip jacket on with yellow pants and some colorful red bottoms. And she was just touching me. You feel me? And then the doors open. So the doors open. And, um, I can't remember if it goes straight into the house or we walk through a door, but I remember when we first walked in Back up the a little studio. Bit so you can get into the camera. Back up a little bit so you can get into the oh, camera. Yeah. So, you yes. There you go. Yeah, so the so the studio, like when you walk in, it's straight to the right. Like it's a whole like like a hallway and it's a big TV. But when we first went in, we walked right into the studio. Um we walked inside the studio and when I look down, I see I see a shining Rolex. That shit shining, nigga with a Gucci bucket on. You heard? And yeah. when I look down, uh, it's Goods. So Goods is sitting in right Wait, in the front of the kids. Goods? Yeah, battle rapper Goods. Oh, yeah, fact. Oh, he was in the studio with y'all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there. Um, TWO had gave him a pound. He gave him a pound, and then that's when that's when. He like introduced uh, me, and when he introduced me, I gave him a pound. You know what I mean? And he's like, TWO's like directed me, and I had went straight to the couch. Like it was like like a couch like this. Like when, it wasn't a futon fold couch, but it was like a black couch, and it was all the way to the um, back. And you know, I sit down, but I sit in the middle. Um, when I sit in the middle, uh, it was a producer that they introduced me to. His name is Stevie D. He was a white boy with glasses. Uh, he was just working on working on the computer and shit, and um, yeah. So a couple minutes passed. Chrissy and her friend they're not they didn't come in with us. Like they didn't come inside the studio part. Yeah. I guess they went. I guess they went straight into the, like the hallway where the rooms are or whatever. So it's like um, yeah. So we sitting down now. It's just guys. You know what I mean? Um, Shooter from Bird Gang was there. Uh, yeah. And then. Yeah, like probably like two, three minutes pass, and then the like entourages are coming in. So Trav and his guys are coming in. Okay. Uh, Life Fever, my yeah, my best friend Life Fever came in, and when he came in, um, shooters like, damn, homie, you just came home because he was like real big, and and um, Light was like, yeah, he was like, yeah, I just came home. And shooter was like, yo, I know you remember that yakisobi, like. We were talking about like the jail meals and all that. So mm -hmm. we were just talking about it. I have not went up north. So like Shooter was just telling us like, you know, stay out of the stay out of this shit, you know, stay out of the streets and shit like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, so like FIBA, he was just like seeing how it is, like being around like certain people and like finally seeing it. We not know you run into Chrissy again that night? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Um while I'm on the couch, like this probably like an hour later, whatever it is. Jimmy walks in. Jimmy's in. He's in the studio now. He comes in. He he daps everyone up. He daps everyone up. Um, he looks at me. He's like, "Yo, you look familiar, homie." I'm like, "I'm from I'm from Lincoln. I'm from Lincoln." He was like, "He was like, I think he Lincoln, Holly Lincoln." I'm like, "Yeah, I used to be young, like when I used to come over there and shit." He was like, "Oh, why, I you feel me?" We had a firm handshake and all that. Um, TWO. I, I guess TWO probably already told him that we was there, but I guess he wanted to see it for herself like who we, who we were okay. and um yeah so he's um he's he's in the studio like he's talking to the to the producer guy and trav comes in and he jumps right in the studio trav comes in he hears a beat like it's like a beat going on he goes nah gangsta i'm getting on that he goes right in and like that's the first time i seen someone like really 
go off the top of their head. Like, and that's how I knew mm-hmm. like Trav is like a real talent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I remember the hook he said. I remember when this is the hook he said, "Mommy, you ain't gotta worry about me in these streets. I'm gonna cry hard till it's over. We gonna eat." You feel me? And that was the hook okay. he made. Like, yeah, like somebody tried to refute this. No one knows. Like he made that they right know, there. I remember. Know. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like, um, yeah, he's singing the hook, and then he's like, "We gonna get this paper right. We gonna get this money." And I'm like, "Oh, like nah, this is talent. This is making me want to do music." You heard? I'm like, "Nah, <laughs> yeah. this is a different type of talent right here." Like, where so like he came out, he's like, "That's how you do it." You feel me? He was talking to light, he was telling him how to do it and shit. So now, dudes are drunk. I'm already on pills and shit. We smoking. I'm still in the same seat I am. My friend like Fever is next to me though. And someone else is on this side. Bro, out of nowhere, bro. We smoking this shit. Jimmy's not in the studio with us no more. And goods left. Goods left. I feel like every all the entourage start coming in. Yeah. Goods left. Yeah, goods left like quick. So we're in there and it's like she just when she come in, everybody's like just like scared. It's like they more scared of her than they is couple. You know what I mean? Oh, they okay. did. <laughs> yeah, it's like she demand respect when well she goes. So you feel me? I still don't notice her. I still don't notice her, bro. You feel me? Because I'm so high and shit, bro. Like she comes and like my friend life is right here, and I'm right here. So she just comes and just plops down. Woo! You feel me? She just plops down, bro. Like, but she the way she plopped down, bro, she's on my lap, bro. Like, she's on my lap, bro. Like it's like really no room, so like he was trying to move over, like he trying to move over, and she on my lap, but she not, so she put her arm around me, and she just like this, yeah. she's like, you all right? You having a good time? Somebody messing with you? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, like, you feel me? And then she just was like, like smiling, like she got her arm around me and shit though, like, and she still touching me. In the studio. Me she, bro, in the studio, bro, in the studio, bro, in the studio, bro, Lahi, bro, in the studio, bro. She's doing this, you feel me? So, like, I'm still, like, I don't know this is. I'm not just, like, I, I never was a person that was just thirsty for females. Like, that's not yeah, me, you know yeah. what I mean? So, it's like, I, I'm not even, like, I'm still trying to, like, move over. So, now, it's like, she's, like, sitting regular. So, she takes her arm off of me, and she's just sitting back, and she's looking at everybody, and she's talking to the producer. She's yelling, you know what I mean? Trav walks out the room. Trav just walks out. He just walks out. Um, My cousin, uh. I, well, this is what I called him at the time. He yeah. walks out. TWO walks out. Um, like he was just on his phone doing whatever. I don't know if he knew that was her at the time. So um, that pretty much was like it for her, like fondling me and shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. My cousin. Yeah. My cousin wanted texting me right away. Like he. So he went out there to text me. So he texts me. Oh. And I'm, I'm like, why? Is he, like, what the fuck? So I look at my phone. He's like, coming to the bathroom right now. I don't even know what the bathroom is. Yeah, you told me something that Jay. They told you to come into the bathroom real quick. Yeah, yeah bro, I don't, bro. I don't even know what the bathroom is, bro. So you feel me? I come out. I, I I get up. When I get up, she's like like looking up. She's looking up at me, and she's short. You know what I mean? I didn't I didn't know like like how little she was until like like I didn't know. So it's like she fucking she's just looking at me and shit. I look at her, and then now I'm starting to register. I see the mole. You heard? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. So I'm walking in the bathroom. I'm like, I already know what this is about, bro. I already know what this is about. Like, why are you texting me? Tell me to come in the bathroom. So I come in the bathroom. He like, yo, he like, yo, um, little bro, um, just stay out the studio right now. Like, you know, just stay out the studio. Like, he's telling me to stay out the studio. He like, yo, come over here. So it was like a an, another like this one. Like we walked down the hall. When we walked down the hall, mm-hmm. it was like a big like sitting area, big couch. And like a big ass projector screen. So we was up on a projector screen. Um I was out there by myself. I was out there by myself. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting out there. Odella comes through. Uh he's a dude from Queens. He was like a gangster from Queens or whatever. So he comes out there, he's talking to me and shit. He was like, he was asking me about my sneakers and shit. And I was telling him where I got them from. And then, you know, pretty much that was pretty much what I could remember from that day. You know what I mean? I never mm-hmm. seen like I seen her walk past. She was with another female. So I seen her walk past. The female, like, they kept, like, looking at me and shit. But I'm just out. I'm just in the hallway waiting for, like, now, it's, like, I'm waiting to be gone because, like, my shit is gone now. Like, like, you know, damn, like, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, like, I came for my, I didn't really come to be around these cats. I don't care about being around these cats. You feel me? I got more money than all of them. 
So at the mm -hmm. time, I'm like, you feel me? I just wanted, <laughs> I just wanted my, yeah, I just wanted my best friend to like, you know, experience experience being like in this in this situation. And you know, it was like real crazy because the next day we wanted to leave in and shit. We wanted yeah, to go into a club. A where, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna let you tell it. Go ahead. Yeah, the next the next day and shit. That that night we we wanted to leave in the stool, all of us, and we wanted uh meeting um we wanted to meet in Mel. We wanted we had to go meet Mel at a club. Um and we went and met Mel at a club and then we just left. We we went back. Um so I'm at a hotel, uh, Marriott in Brooklyn, and the next day I get a I get a um a text on a, a text. I don't answer the text and then I get a call. So uh, TWO is like, yo, come see me. So I go over there to like Franklin and I go see him. And I go see him and shit. He like, yo, look at this. Like, he's showing me like FaceTime calls and I mean like like calls. I don't know if they FaceTime calls, but he's showing me calls and like like missed calls and messages. So he's like, yo, he's like, yo, look at this message. And it was like, yo, a pair a pair of grape a pair of grape Jordans went missing. A pair of grape Jordans went missing. This is what. The, the text is saying it too. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. Jimmy is Jimmy is texting that to uh two. Yeah, Jimmy's texting that to two. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, so he's like, a yeah. pair of Jordans went missing. Yeah, a pair of great Jordans. A pair of great. I think it was great fours. Was well, like a pair stole of great the studio? Why was he saying that for? Um, he's saying somebody stole him out the studio. You heard? But mm -hmm. remember, my best friend had on great Jordans. Right before this, this same day, these grapes, when they dropped, like, they didn't even drop yet. So everybody was going to get them. It was a pair of black ones and a pair of white ones. They was, like, black and purple, like, the grapes. So it was, like, I bought my best friend those sneakers. Both yeah. pairs. Both pairs, bro. I bought them both before we even knew he was going to the studio, bro. I yeah. bought them both of them pairs. So why I bought my Jimmy is texting y'all that? Why you think he's texting that? So it come to find out. Later on, you feel me? Once he get off the phone with him, he's like, "Yo, I could tell that that he bullshit." This is what two saying. He's like, "Yo, I could tell he bullshit, bro. It, that shit ain't about no sneakers, bro. That shit is about his girl, bro. That shit is about his girl, bro. She's loose, and you was around, and I guess somebody oh, seen wow. that and, and, and told him you heard. So that's that's and what it was, like, bro. I, what I took the phone she was all over you, and he like, you bro, can't I come took." Yo, 100% harm, and it's like, yo, I took his phone, nigga. I took his phone from him. I'm like, give me, I took the phone, and I went to text the phone, nigga, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, I got $500,000, nigga. I don't need to steal, nigga. My niggas around me don't need to steal nothing from you, nigga. We don't need to steal nothing from you, nigga. Like, like, you, whatever you feel, that's, that's you, you take that up with, 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 with the situation. You don't, you don't tell, yeah, you yeah, don't sit yeah. there and look, yeah, you don't make something up and say that Jordans went missing. You feel oh, what I'm saying? Because yeah, we young, the studio, cause we young Brooklyn right. niggas. You know, we young Brooklyn, and you think somebody came in here to steal from you? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. You okay. feel me? So from that day, that, yeah, that day on, I just, you feel me? I, I sort of fell back from even trying to put my best friend in that situation, and we start pushing, pushing, pushing like you did so. Man, damn, that's <laughs> wild. That's a wild story. Yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, that's a wild story, man. Yeah, I ain't going to yeah. lie. We got a lot more coming for the people, man. Let the people know where they My can boy, find man. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all yeah. can find me, Kai Reality, man. The same, the, the, the channel's about to drop. Y'all going to be real surprised, right. you heard. Uh, we got a lot of good content coming in. Like, this shit need to be told. This shit need to be told. This shit need, the world need to know a lot of the funny shit, a lot of the misguided, the misinformation yeah, yeah. that's out there. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm here, and we're going to keep pushing this content. And I ain't going nowhere. Here, here we go. All in Legend TV. Man, appreciate you, homie, man. I appreciate you pulling up, telling your story, man. You heard? That's yep, a fact, you know man. The, hey, I'll tap in with you, homie. You know the vibes. Yo, salute, man. Hey, look. I, that man told his story. He was Lucy Goosey, allegedly. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, now. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, man. It's your boy EOU, a.k.a. the Harlem Legend, man. We got a lot more coming, y'all. Is this why Jim Jones never married her? Is this why Jim Jones never married her? Leave a comment, y'all. It remains to be seen. So Do know who I'm talking about. Shut your ass up before I get to talk shit about you. You don't want me to expose you.